It's a TV show that brings together two great passions in South Korea, popular music and technology. A computer is taught to sing like pop star Kim Kwang Sok, who died 25 years ago. It then recreates his voice to deliver a song written long after his death, to the amazement of his fans. The same technology produces the distinctive vocal range of the late Freddie Mercury from Queen to sing in Korean. Stars of the past brought back to life thanks to AI. When I watch the reactions of these people, then we uh, confirm that, yes, this is the way we have to go, and this is the future of the artificial intelligence. The company developing the cutting-edge software is not only recreating voices, but changing existing ones. Mary had a little lamb to make you younger. Mary had a little lamb. And a woman? This was white as snow. It's one of the growing number of startup companies located in South Korea's equivalent of Silicon Valley on the outskirts of Seoul. The government wants South Korea to be a pioneer in AI as part of its push towards transforming the economy with high-tech innovation. The Korean government is implementing the Digital New Deal uh, project to transform the country into an advanced economy. And humans battling AI is helping fuel the debate on popular TV. In this show, a former golf champion takes on a robotic opponent. In another contest, a renowned day trader has to beat a computer program trading on the stock market. And on another network, a well-known newsreader meets for the first time her computer-generated double. To show none of us is indispensable or beyond manipulation. For South Korea, all this technology has very serious applications as our lives are transformed by the marvels of artificial intelligence bringing about changes, whether we like them or not. Well, goodbye. Al Jazeera, Songnam, South Korea.